Hey, what's going on everybody? Well, if you are new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and checking us out. And for everybody else, thank you for returning. My name is Chris and this is the Christopher Scott channel. What we're going to be doing today is focusing on our Pistogramma cockatoidy tank that you can see right here. We went through and we scaped this thing. We built this really cool cave structure and all of these kinds of things. And these guys bred and had babies and everything turned out fantastic. Well, then over time, we had a massive algae bloom in this tank. And I have tried every which way I possibly could to control this algae. I've used algicides, I've used all kinds of things. Well then, come to find out, what it was is it was the light system on that rack. I did not realize that that particular light that I put on that shelf, even though it looks identical to all the others, was a different temperature light. And it it's the only tank in here that's had algae in it for so long. And I finally figured out why. And it's that light. So unfortunately, I'm having to break this tank down because I just cannot get this algae under control. But that's okay, because we're going to be building an epic tank for these guys today. What we're going to be building this in is this really cool 14 gallon cube tank and these are Aquion frameless glass aquariums which usually these kinds of aquariums are super expensive. This particular one is well over a hundred dollars normal price but Petco actually offers these frameless tanks as a part of their 50% off sale and that currently is running right now in the US until October the 31st. So make sure you go pick some of these up. So this particular tank right here was $42 on this sale, which is a fantastic deal for a frameless tank. We need to go ahead and get this shelf prepared. And as you can see right here, what I'm doing is just laying down some floor planks. And these are the wood planks that are actually a part of my flooring in my home. I have extra left over. So I'm just using these because they actually are perfect width and perfect depth. Three of them take up the exact space on this shelf and that'll give us a nice base. The reason is, is because these tanks being frameless, they have to sit on a self-leveling mat and they have to have a perfectly flat surface or otherwise the glass on the bottom could in fact crack and break and we do not want that to happen. Now that we have this set up, we also wanna go ahead and set up and make sure that our LED planted light for this tank is going to fit under this shelf because this is a very, very shallow shelf and as you can see, it fits perfectly fine, which is great. And for filtration, we're actually gonna be using a sponge filter, so I need to go ahead and get this aerator set up prior to getting this tank set over there. All right, well now that we have all of that set up, there's something we need to do to this particular tank before we get the scape set up, and we're gonna do that right here. So let's take a look at what we're doing. So we're gonna start with adding a background to this, and what I'm using is standard window film. The type of window film I'm using is a frosted window film. It just gives it a frosted appearance just based on the type of skate. Going forward, I'm either going to be using this or black. So to lay this film down, basically we're going to take this and spray down the glass as well as the back of this film really well with this solution. Now granted, you can use just a regular spray bottle with some soap like some very lightly soapy water in it that works as well but i have the solution so i am going to use the solution push this completely down get it all the way down there and then we are just going to squeegee it down to the glass we'll come back and squeegee it again in a moment after we get it cut so now what i'm going to do is come back with a blade What we're going to be using for a substrate is this Carabsi Eco Planted substrate. What I'm doing here is just using my paintbrush to spread out this substrate and get it smoothed out to a certain point. Then I'm gonna come back in with the main piece for this tank, which is actually this really cool Buddha head and this piece of driftwood. Now I'm just trying different types of rocks to figure out how I want this driftwood to sit up and wrap kind of around the face of this Buddha head. And I keep trying different types and different styles and things until I finally get it perfect. Once I got it perfect, I took it all back out and I glued the piece of driftwood actually to the rock using a piece of cotton ball with some cyanoacrylate glue on both ends just to make sure that it stayed completely submerged. All right, so now that we have the hardscape done, I wanna come back in and start planting some of these plants. And what I'm gonna start with is this Madagascar lace bulb. And with the Madagascar lace bulb, what you wanna do, this thing is rooted. You wanna put about half of 
the bulb down into the substrate. That's about it. And then we'll just let this float up once we fill it up with water. Lay it over top like this here. I'm gonna get damaged. Have some bacopa, and I really like this bacopa. So I'm gonna put that bacopa right there. And what I'm trying to do is just give it the illusion that it's kind of like ruin, that it's an area that somebody used to enjoy, and over time it's just kind of been let go. And now there's really nobody that comes and cares for this area. So everything that's here just kind of grows wild and free and there's nothing that's really stopping it. So we want it to kind of appear as if this is overgrown and, and needs somebody to come take care of it. Add this little red tiger lily bulb right down in here once again. Just like the Madagascar lace bulb, you just want to bury about half of the bulb itself down into the substrate. The bulb is pretty heavy so it's not gonna float off just like that. That will do fantastic right there. All right, well, this tank has now been completed, and I think it looks amazing. I mean, I, it kind of has that whole look I was looking for. I wanted that Buddha head statue to be kind of hidden in the back. Just looks like it's overgrown that, you know, at some point somebody came and spent time here, and now it's just a jungle. So I think it's got that look that I was looking for. So now, with that, next step we have is we need to go ahead and dechlorinate. And I'm going to do that with a little Stress Coat Plus by API. We're also going to use, if you notice, I put a sponge filter in here. That sponge filter needs to have one of the sponges removed and replaced with one with some pre-cycled filter media. But as well as that, we're also going to go ahead and quick start this with some API quick start. Now with API quick start, it does in fact allow you to add fish instantly. However, it is always recommend that you let the natural cycle occur within a tank before adding fish. Between the pre-cycled filter media, between the quick start, we will be good to go ahead and add these fish back into this tank. So let's go ahead and get this tank treated. One other element I want to go ahead and add is I want to add a little bit of leaf litter to the bottom here. And these are leaves that have been fully treated and are safe for this aquarium. Now to finish this off, let's go ahead and add some floating plants to this. We're going to start with some duckweed. I'm going to add one more plant to this. And we're going to add it right into this piece of driftwood over here. But this is a Bucephalandra. And I'm going to try to wedge this right in here between this driftwood. Just like that. I'm going to put that in there just so it can grow. That's a very slow growing plant. Very cool plant and expensive plant. But I want to try to grow that thing out. So with that, this tank is done. And I personally think that this tank turned out fantastic. I wasn't really sure when I had the idea of doing this tank what it was going to turn out like, but I am very happy with what it looks like here. So you have to let me know in the comments what you guys think. Also remember, all the plants you see in here will soon be available on my website at thecsbrand.com and that is everything from the Anubius Coffifolia to the Creeping Jenny, this little red tiger lily bulb, this Anubius here, Christmas moss, Anacris, Bacopa, the Madagascar lace bulb, the Bucephalandra, everything and any type of plant you see, the duckweed and the frog bit. All the plants that I use in all of my builds will soon be available at thecsbrand.com, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And now we are completely cycled. And now with that, we can go ahead and add some fish in here. Start with that little pygmy cory. Baby epistogram cockatoidy. You can go up and find him a place. Another little baby epistogram cockatoidy. Going to find him a place to hang out. And one final little baby here. There's the male and the female. 
Epistogrammococcatoides. There's the little pygmy cori. There is the female Epistogrammococcatoide right there. I don't know where the male went, but everything is looking good in this tank. I think that this tank turned out absolutely fantastic and it's an easy scape that anybody could do. I mean, just a bunch of hardscape and plants. It wasn't anything very serious, so you know, Hopefully you guys went on to enjoy this. We're gonna add one more thing to this tank. I don't have them right now, but I will be picking them up and that is going to be probably four or five Amano shrimp just to keep any algae under control because I have had a problem with some hair algae on this particular shelf, but I did change the light out so hopefully that fixes it. So with that, let's just take a closer look at this thing. All right, guys, well, make sure you go ahead and let me know in the comments what you think about this tank. I think it turned out fantastic. All of the plants look good, the fish look good. In fact, you can see the little male Epistogramma cockatoidea has come out, the females down there as well. So they've gotten acclimated to their environment and they are liking it. So all of the plants that you see in here, like I said earlier, you will be able to find these on the csbrand.com. They will be launching there very soon. If you are in need of quality plants at a low price, make sure you check out the CS brand.com it will be launching very soon if you want to be notified when the site launches and for a chance to win a piece of christopher scott merch go visit it now and put your email address in i'm not going to sell your information i'm not going to spam you i'm not going to do any of those kinds of things i want to pick one random person that signed up with their email address send them a free piece of merch as well as i'll notify you guys when new products are available so make sure you go sign up for that make sure you let me know in the comments what you guys think about this tank i think it turned out fantastic but then again i'm biased because i'm the one that set it up but this is an easy scape for you to do. All in all, this tank is less than $100 with all the decorations, driftwood, plants, all of those kinds of things. So everybody could do this tank for really cheap if you wanted to. So with that guys, hopefully you went on to enjoy watching this tank be set up. Also, if you've not watched the last video where I set up this carnivorous meat eating terrarium with some venus fly traffic make sure you go watch that next and you can find a card right above to watch that and with that guys i am truly grateful for each and every single one of you thank you so very much for the support thanks for coming along on this journey with us and make sure you are subscribed and turn on that notification bell so you do not miss the next video that's coming out here on the christopher scott channel so with that thank you thank you thank you and we will see you next time